What's going on Revolution family, it's Raphael aka Versatile Thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button Hit that bell notification, be part of the Revolution family Strongly recommend that you be part of the Elite Revolution family Because that's where it's at really We'll discuss that at the end of the video Now today's video is part of the Did You Know series And did you know that Racism in English stroke Britain is like this. It is one systematic. Racism in general is systematic. Wherever wherever the colonizers are, that is systematic. And also I'll I'll tell you a story but I don't wanna go into that too much right now. Another thing is it's in England from experience is it's also subtle. So, because of the education that some white people receive or some Asian people receive in England, stroke Britain, they end up, you know, saying things and doing things that you would never, unless you're a critical thinker and you know thyself, you would never find it racist. You would just like it's like they they do certain jokes. It's it's like to them it's a joke. Like in fact, let me give you an, an example. I remember this was like a few months back, or was it last year? I, I, I can't remember specifically specifically, but it happened. This guy, it was a white guy, like a typical. No, let me not, let me not do stereotypes because I'm talking about this subject, and here we go. But anyway, basically, in the shop, uh, he basically, he was saying, he was asking me about, say hello to Jermaine Defoe, this, that, and the other. And Jermaine Defoe is a, 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 is a black uh, professional footballer and, um, or soccer player to you, those who watch it in America. But basically, you know, that makes no sense to me. I, I like, I didn't tell him that I know Jermaine Defoe. If I did, then, what you know? But I, I, I didn't know. I didn't even know who this, this guy is. Do you understand? And um, and then when the baby, when the um, black mother with her child, like the baby's probably what a year old or just about. He's re referencing the child as Jermaine Defoe, saying he looks like Jermaine Defoe, and the baby looked nothing like Jermaine Defoe. That's one thing. Then you got the media publications where they're comparing, they're using a, a wrong image. Even in the interview I was watching with, um, with not for the radio, with uh, he was on it. I think it was Smoke Boys. Um, basically. One of the one of the newspapers in a different country, mind you, they actually use a uh, different image. Now in this country, look, they actually compared. Um, I think it was Stormzy with Lukaku. Like they're, they're mixing up. It's like, ah, right, yeah, to some degree they do look similar, but you can actually really tell the difference. But anyway, so. That was my story, but I, oh, should I tell you my other story? Hmm. Basically, I can't. I'll be really quick with it. Basically, it was applying for a job, and at the end of the day, this one particular company, I'm not going to name name them, but they're very popular. And basically, what happened was, my name is Raphael Wanochi, so on my CV and at uh, the the application forms, you blatantly see it. And even in the when they want you to tick what's your ethnicity, this, that, and the other, it's, it's very evident. I don't know why they want to do this ethnicity thing. Like, that's fulfilling quotas. Like, they do hire black people, by the way, but I guess it's just fulfilling quotas. So, at the end of the day, what happened was, I thought, hmm... Let me actually change my name, not by the depot, but I thought let me just use 
the name Smith, Raphael Smith. Would you believe that I actually received an email that got me an interview? Now, I didn't show up. In fact, that was one thing. I, I put my name as Raphael Smith and I put myself as white. And I got an interview. Would you believe it? But listen, that's my story. But I want to know what's your what's been your experience with racism in England or Britain or wherever you are. What has been your experience with racism? Like, leave your your answer or your yeah, leave your answer in the comment section below. And yeah, also before I get out of here. Let's solve this problem because obviously racism is a, a, a problem. It can be solved, but it starts with us. Plain and simple, it starts with us. It sounds like harsh facts, but it's true. How? Well, basically, there is online workshops that we do, and the information and the knowledge that you gain, it will help eradicate racism within the African and Caribbean diaspora once and for all. Yes, it's going to take time, but it begins with us. So click on the link below where it says get involved in the description box. Click on that link, join the online workshops. Once you join the online workshops, that's how you become part of the elite revolution family. Because the revolution is taking place and you have to be prepared. Okay?